today it's all about road microphones and studio arm hi welcome to my channel and uh, i've been using rod microphones for past seven years and uh, this is my first uh, purchase i bought this in us uh, this is a uh, rod nt usb uh, you can use this uh, by the source of uh, usb port uh, there's a, at the bottom we have the usb uh, cable which connects to the computer and uh, <clears throat> initially i bought this uh, just to improve my voice quality uh, i don't want to have a lot of uh, noise background or something and uh, i used to always record on my computer so i thought this is a best a buy for me that i'm not moving around and not going anywhere outside and stuff like that so i'll be recording everything on my computer and i'll be sitting close to the microphone so that's the reason i bought this one and i've been using this for past seven years now and uh, this comes with a, a pop filter uh, and then uh, it also have the controls here like you can reduce the uh, uh, microphone volume and you also can hear the computer background music as well and then you have a headphone jack here and this is really versatile and a uh, lot of ways you can uh, put it on the studio arm uh, stuff like that and uh, this has been a very best buddy for me for the past seven years i never had any issues with that the good thing about this is like you don't need any drivers you don't need any software for that you just plug and play uh, this is very good, uh, but the only downside for me is that this is kind of a studio microphone that you are in a studio and uh, you record your voice, speech and stuff like that. Uh, you have to be very close to the mic and uh, and yeah, I mean that, that's, that's kind of thing. There is no complaint, but uh, the usage of this is like uh, you cannot take it outside, you cannot plug it into your camera or things like that. It's, it's just like you have to put it on your desk and start recording and yeah it, it is very good in that terms however like there are some limitations with this as well it's a little bit bulky when you compare with other competitors it's a heavy metal it's full of metal which is a strong build uh, which i strongly recommend that people can go ahead and buy this one um, it's been a wonderful years i had with this uh, no uh, no problem whatsoever and uh, yeah the, the major problem i have is I have to keep it very close and when I'm doing my gaming and stuff like that uh, it, it comes in a way you know like uh, I have to use my keyboard uh, while doing my gaming streaming and it's pretty hard for me to bring this uh, into the picture you know so that's where I, I bought the other one again I went with the road you can tell me uh, you can say that I'm a road fan because I like it actually so I bought this one the shotgun uh, it's uh, it's called uh, video mic uh, it, it's pretty good actually this one has a, a shotgun which is like uh, it comes all the way here and it has a bypass filter at here uh, you can see that it has some configurations that it can ignore the you know uh, noise around your surrounding and it just takes from this direction both are, both are mono uh, but but I like it and this has a lot of usage for me that it's very lightweight and uh, I can take, I can put it in my camera and I can go anywhere I want and stuff like that. So in that uh, way that I like this one, it's very lightweight and I can uh, literally put this on my arm. which I'm going to unbox and I can show you that. Uh, this one is very useful in that matter. Uh, it's lightweight and I can put in any uh, arm and I, I can just move outside of the site so that I can do streaming and everything and it's not in the way and also it is just uh, you know directional so it doesn't pick the noise around and I don't need to uh, later I don't need to remove the you know background noise uh, there are a lot of applications I need to use on this one to remove the noise and uh, yeah that takes a little bit time for me in the editing that I have to <laughs> remove the noise in that one and then put it in my editing software for the video and then match with the video and stuff like that but this one can record along with my video because I'm going to put this on top of my camera uh, and plug it into my camera so this will be very useful for me and uh, in order to put this on the uh, studio arm the, this is not a very uh, lengthy 
cable, right? So what I have to do is like I have to buy something like this auxiliary cable and uh, it needs to have a male female portion and then this one is very lengthy one i bought this very long so it can goes all the way through my arm studio arm and then plug in into the camera and there you go so this this is my application so so right right now what we'll do is like uh, we'll unbox this guy uh, this is a psa one plus it's very smooth and you cannot see any springs around uh, that's the good thing about this one I like and it is easy to uh, you know put it on my desk and then remove it whenever I want so yeah I mean like let's let's go ahead and unbox this guy and uh, and I have a look out on this Now we are going to unbox this. A lot of stuff in there. This is a clamp, which is going to fit under the table there. I'm going to show you uh, when I'm trying to fix this one. So this is the clamp. And this one is an optional. Uh, you have a wires going through in the table. So you don't need to have this. You just keep it there and then you can use this one. So there are two ways of mounting this arm. One is by the clip. Uh, you can use this one or you can use this one. There is no uh, this, this is a computer table where you have this uh, cable holes there you can keep this one and you can use it and this one you can tighten it to the tables like mine what I have so you can tighten this one so nothing else in the box it's just the uh, some notes how to install so all you have is the guide, how to install, so nothing else, it's just the guide. It's done. It's done. Now, this is the main product. This comes off. Oh, that's how you peel it. Yes, you have all the parts here. So as you can see that this is a nice little uh, cloth here, and there's uh, some hook here where you can put your uh, cables. It's for clean cable management, and uh, it's got a lot of uh, gauges here to tie it or lose it. And then these are some foams to protect it. <laughs> I'm going to remove that because we don't need that. Okay. Those are not required. Then you have one more form here, just for the packing, and then so basically it all goes like this, and then like this. Okay. Then you have this one, some mount for all your 
comfortable where you don't need to have something like this this goes where the all the cables run down so those kind of fit mount for this one and then this one especially mount where we can really use it this is what I'm going to use now uh, fit into this and there's a screw here you can tie it yeah. and then the rod will be fit here the entire arm will be resting on this one to have a better grip it's a little bit heavy <laughs> it's, not, it's a little bit heavy than what I expected I'm going to fix the clamp next to the my monitor so it's very really easier for me to move around my mic so it just goes like this isn't it looking cute <laughs> so now that's fixed it's, it's really fixed I tightened the screw at the bottom so it's, it's in very good condition now it's not moving and uh, now we have to fix the arm here right there so here's the arm so I'm going to fix it there uh, here you here put this one here and you have to press a little bit so that it just goes and uh, fits inside nicely and uh, pretty good it doesn't move out it's a very good uh, arm fit uh, so yeah you can freely move this one there is no uh, screws or something to tighten it up that's a good thing that you can freely move your arm uh, and it's good for us uh, as you can see in here let me back it a little bit so you see that you can freely move this arm now and this has the movement like this and a lot of screws over here and yeah it's pretty much uh, looks nice so now next I'm going to fix my microphone here uh, see how it goes. I wanted to keep it like going downwards so that uh, when I speak that it just picks only my voice not the background uh, ba background noise so that's why uh, I want to put it in this direction the downwards direction so yeah I'm going to show you that now so here's the microphone uh, this has a very good fit here so all I have to do is just screw them just like that Yeah, that looks perfect that's in a good direction so all the cable back goes like this Everything's fine. guys uh, that's my microphone setup uh, it's very good uh, I like it the way that it doesn't come in the way of my gameplay so as you can see that monitor is just there and the mic is over here and it's all right over on my uh, face not on my face on top of my head so it can get recorded and uh, it doesn't pick up a lot of background noise yeah I like this arm very well uh, it doesn't come on the way so it folds properly and then it doesn't change the mic position as you can see that the, the way I'm moving the arm it still maintains the same position actually the thing is like I can even use my uh, NT USB here I can mount this as well uh, that, that comes with some kind of uh, attachment here so it does goes and fit over there so yeah I mean like I can use both if I want uh, any one at the one time like I cannot use both at the same time but yeah I do have two options now I can use this as well and see which one is uh, good for my usage and uh, with the voice okay so I hope that you guys like the video please uh, comment like and subscribe this really encourages me to uh, go and do more videos like this uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.